Illustration Andrea Brunty, USA Today Network, and Getty Images Drive Robert Montgomery had several reasons for getting a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as he could. As a transplant surgeon at a busy New York hospital, his patients were among the most vulnerable to the disease. The pandemic has exacted a terrible toll on transplant recipients. About 20% of those infected died, almost 2,000 in New York City alone last year compared to just one or two transplant patient deaths in a typical flu season, Montgomery said. He also is a transplant patient himself. The heart beating inside his 61-year-old chest is not the one he was born with. The medications that prevent rejection of a transplanted organ also block many transplant patients from making protective antibodies. A recent study from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine found that only 17% of transplant recipients had antibodies after their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, with an additional 35% responding after two shots. Although COVID-19 vaccines work incredibly well for the vast majority of people, roughly 10 million Americans whose immune systems are compromised because of medication or disease may not be well protected. This isn't over for us, said Michelle Nadim Baker, who has chronic lymphocytic leukemia that's out of remission. She got two shots of the Moderna vaccine in March and April, but is pretty sure she has no protection against COVID-19. For Nadim Baker, a patient at Dana-Farber in Boston, the pandemic still looks a lot like it did during the worst of the outbreak. She always wears a mask, keeps her distances, avoids crowds. It isn't easy to continue living like this, she said. Researchers are not yet sure exactly what an adequate immune response looks like, or what level of protection is enough. And once they figure out who is protected, they need to figure out what to do for people like Montgomery and Nadim Baker who aren't. Montgomery's approach was to sign himself up for a clinical trial testing a third vaccine dose. For him, it worked. After the third shot, testing as part of the trial showed that his immune system made both protective antibodies and longer shielding T-cells. It's unclear how many of each is enough to safeguard someone against COVID-19, but Montgomery is satisfied he has at least some protection. Not everyone can secure that peace of mind. Our patients are freaking out, and rightfully so, Montgomery said. There's no good guidance out there. Until results from clinical trials are in, Dr. Dory Segev at Johns Hopkins Medical Center tells his transplant patients to get vaccinated, act unvaccinated. They should take all the precautions the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends for people with no protection, such as continuing to wear masks and socially distance, he said. When the CDC last month abruptly lifted its mask recommendations for vaccinated people, Segev said, the world quickly got less safe for immunosuppressed people.